Their preparation was faultless, their performance fabulous. So why risk it all now to frolic with the cheese and kisses? With England's wives and girlfriends arriving en masse, are they at their most vulnerable right now? Drewy, Hoggy, give us the good oil. A good call, Mark. Um, I reckon uh, the women coming over is our best chance because we couldn't bowl them out. We can't make <laughs> runs against them. Our feeling's been terrible. So get the good-looking wives over. And there's a couple of glamours in amongst them. Like get that them one. over here. <laughs> um, get them over here, and that's our best chance to get back into the ashes. That is Jessica Taylor, by the way, pop star and lingerie model, and importantly for Australia, the partner of Kevin Peterson. So the most dangerous player for the Poms is certainly at his most vulnerable right now. The girls arrived early in the week and about 48 hours later, they've got to be fully focused. Uh, there are a couple of models and actresses amongst the WAGs. Drewy? They are beautiful ladies, but I don't necessarily agree with you. I would think to have those beautiful ladies by your side would actually be a bonus, not a, a handicap. And I think that uh, back home, they're frolicking around. You just may not know what they're doing. Just to keep them under your wing and uh, keep them there by your side uh, to give you that support which you need through those a very, very long tour. I think it's actually dangerous for us. This could be the motivation that uh, that they needed. In all seriousness, the timing, I reckon, is wrong. The POM should have said, righto, we're in a position perhaps we didn't think we were in. We can st steal this series here. Girls, you were supposed to come out uh, before the Perth test. Just go to Melbourne and wait there. And look, to be honest, I wouldn't have had them come at all. Oh, I know it's no, Christmas no. time and, and all the rest of it, but in terms of Christmas presents, it's no bigger than the Ashes. And England could have them parceled up by Melbourne, so they should oh, be the girls Mark. should be waiting under the tree. And in fact, if they don't win in Perth, they should go home. I wouldn't the have them here, mate. You're living in the dark ages, Mark. No, because they, they have your friends and family around when you're involved in a sporting contest. You're away from home. It gives you that peace of mind more than it does uh, handicap you. Can I just show you Jessica Bradditch as well? Uh, she is, of course, the partner of Mitchell Johnson, and she oh. was blamed for derailing our last Ashes campaign because uh, of uh, she's a very good-looking lady, isn't she? Because of the fact that she is such a good-looking lady I think and she took Mitchell Johnson's eye off the ball so to speak and, and in all seriousness that was part of the review from the 09 Ashes that the wags were there for too long. I reckon she's got better I reckon 18 months ago she wasn't that good she's really improved hasn't she? <laughs> Moving right along I think it's time James Anderson flew home to England for the birth of his second child in between test matches a little girl called Ruby and congratulations but it's hardly the ideal warm up for such an important test match. Hoggy would you have done that? I don't think I would have. Uh, my uh, son was born when I was in the West Indies and I didn't go home. I, I, and, but this day and age, it's a bit different. They're away 12 months a year. Um, look, they, they've done nothing wrong so far, uh, England, and they prepared for this. And Anderson, uh, he's on fire, so let's hope it's affecting him. I can't see how he can play well after get flying all the way back yep. and then coming back. I, I, and the test match two days away. Drew has got 15 kids, uh, so it might not have mattered towards the end there, but would you have done that? Absolutely. You can always play in a cricket match, but this is about life. If this is about your family. It's it's way more important than a cricket match. So I'd have been on that plane, and you're making it out as if it's all. I'm sure it's a long. He's up in first class. He's got a bed. He's got everything there. It's it's not that hard to, to make that trip the way in the conditions they travel in, Mark. You are soft, Andrew Gaze. There's more of this and a bit of motivational advice for punter and the boys from Drewy and Hoggy on GoodOldTV.com. So log on. But first, the final word. I'll give you a final word, Mark. We've lost four of our last five test matches. It's not good enough. Batsmen lose games, bowlers win them. Fellas, Broad's out, Broad's, Broad's out injured. Anderson's been on a junket backwards and forwards to England. If we can't bat well in Perth, the axe is there for you guys. Batsmen, stand up and be counted, please. Oh, there you go. A junket, says Hoggy. Uh, he's a superstar. You're not bad either, bagger. Mm -hmm. Spoken like a true bowler, Hoggy. Well done. All the best and bye for now.